Carson. Number 22, sophomore Patrick Krantz. Number 18, sophomore Russell DeMarco. Number two, junior Owen DiNicola. Number nine, senior Mustafa Ella Debris. Number 16, junior Timothy Fagiano. Number seven, senior Andrew Keeley. Number 21, senior Nail Kelly. Number 13, junior Devin Kelly. Number 24, captain, senior Matt Lynn. Number eight, junior Stephen McFory. Number 25, senior Philip McCarthy. Number 19, junior Antti Nickett. Number 11, Captain Senior Justin Normadu. Number 12, Senior Andrew Palaco. Number 15, Junior Daniel Perez. Number 3, Junior Ellie Peterson, Eli Peterson. Number 10, Captain Senior Michael Pubicard. Number 17, Junior Simon Rudder. Number 23, Junior Nick Skiba. Number six, senior Landon York. And number 14, junior Tyler Zanini. The head coach for the Hillers in his 15th year is Garrett Sawyer. And now for the Holliston High School Panthers. First, the captains. Number three, junior Ty Cotton. Captain number 42, senior Jake Heisel. Captain uh, number seven, senior Evan Katz. Captain number 10, senior Patrick Mejia. Captain number two, senior Johnny Peck. And then we have number 12, junior Nico Awani. Number 15, junior Matias Bolo. Number 24, freshman Owen Burke. Number five, senior Griffin Dellen. Number one, junior Evans DeJohn. Number 16, sophomore Dylan Donahue. Number 44, sophomore Samuel Glazer. Number 23, junior Jackson Gong. Number 11, junior Zach Jacobs. Number 20, sophomore Ryan Katz. Number 19, freshman Brandon McLeod. Number, number 9, senior Yvonne Metapur. Number 18, junior Kyle Nicholson. Number 22, freshman Benjamin Siegel. Number 6, sophomore Andresa Smith. Number 8, junior Thomas Soika. And in his eighth season, the Panthers are led by their head coach, Jay Dupuy. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Comedian Field at Holliston High School as the Hopkinton Hillers and the Holliston Panthers boys varsity soccer teams open up the 2018-2019 fall sports season tom nappy on the call chris mckerney is our cameraman and you are tuned in to hopkinton hillers and holliston panthers on either hcam in hopkinton or hcat television in holliston it is a beautiful sunny day for this one 92 degrees certainly some heat in the area but these two teams are ready to go Hollison is led by head coach Jay Dupuy and his eighth season at the helm for the Panthers. The Hopkinton Hillers are led by head coach Garrett Sawyer and his 15th season at the helm for the Hillers. Let's take a look at the starters and we'll get you those as we're about ready to face off here. The starters for Holliston include Ty Cotting, Jake Heisel, Evan Katz, Pat Mejia, Johnny Pecht, Griffin Dellen, Evans Johan, Zach Jacobs, Yavar Medipour as the 
Hillers try to control it in their defensive zone. Continuing on with the Holliston starters, Carter Mickelson and Thomas Sochka. Round out the starters for the Panthers. Jake Heisel is guarding the net for Holliston. And Tyler Zanini is the goaltender for the Hopkinton Hillers. And we'll get you the Hillers starters as they try to maintain possession in the defensive zone. Across the midfield we come, and that one's out of bounds along the far side. For the Hillers, Tyler Zanini in net. Owen DeNicola, Michael Puvacad, Justin Normando, Andrew Paleko, Antti Nikic, Peyton Burns, Nick Skiba, Mac Lind, Phil McCarthy, and Daniel Perez for the Hopkinton Hillers. Holliston with the early control here. Battle along the far side as Paleko trying to get control for Hopkinton. And now across midfield we come. Deflected by Ty Cotting for Holliston. Here comes the Panthers into the defensive zone. Control along the far sideline. That pass was up to Daniel Perez for the Hillers. Now backfield we go. Tyler Zanini will square it up. Pass over to the near side of Phil McCarthy. McCarthy, good feed to Norman though. And he will air this one out. A missed header opportunity at midfield. And we'll have a whistle here. This is gonna go Holliston's way. Panthers on the free kick, it's Ty Cotting. Airs it out, good one there, right in front of the net. And the goaltender nearly let that one through. Zanini tried to pull it down, but it got just over his head. And then a nice job by, I believe that was Mac Lind who was able to get it out of bounds. Halston will have the corner. And on the corner, it's Dylan Donahue. Panthers working left to right across your screen. In the danger zone for the Hillers as Zanini gets a hand on that one and we get a whistle for a push. And this is going to go in favor of Holliston, it looks like. He squared up for Johnny Pecht. And he is going to have a penalty kick here. Huge opportunity. About three minutes into this game. Let's see what Pecht can do. A shot, and that's in. one nothing Holliston. The Panthers strike first. Johnny Pecht, the senior forward, getting the Panthers on the board with the penalty kick. That came with about 36.45 left to go in the first. So a good way to start the season for the Panthers. Hillers have a lot of returning talent, big hopes this year, but same situation on the Panthers' side. Both of these teams expected to be pretty strong in the TVL. Out of bounds along the far side, throw in for Holliston. Here come the Hillers. Good deflection there by the defenseman, Ty Cotting. Header by Zach Jacobs. In the air by Normando. Now a header by Smith. Here comes Holliston on the attack once again. Down the near side, it's Zach Jacobs, and Zanini comes out to wrap it up. Last season, Halston had an impressive season. 10-2-3 during the regular season. In the air by Puvacad, Normando, up along the near sideline. Hillers trying to establish some kind of control here. Now crossing a Halston territory, and this will drag the Halston goalkeeper out. Jake Heisel, senior goalkeeper for the Panthers. 
And the Panthers defenders have been doing very well so far. Have had control of this game as this one is aired out and well out of bounds. Hillers during the regular season last year finished six, nine, and three. They did not make the playoffs, but hoping for a better situation here this season with a lot of returning experience. This one aired out by Zanini to midfield. Battle is between Normando and Mejia. Hillers have control, here comes Perez. Pass over to the near side, good shot there. And that one is wrapped up. It was a nice shot by Mikic. Heisel able to wrap it up for Holliston. Back into Hiller's defensive territory as Nicola trying to get it away. We get a whistle here as this one goes off of Pecht and keep playing says the official. Pecht along the near side. And gets it in the danger zone there. Zanini coming out to wrap it up. A one nothing lead for the Holliston Panthers. About three minutes in. A Penalty kick by Johnny Pecht made a one nothing, but now the Hiller is threatening. Here comes Nikic along the near side. That pass is across over to Paleko. Out of bounds it goes. Oh, once again along the far side. Back into Hiller's territory we go. Halston for the most part has had control of this game. Already a couple shots on net. Hillers did have a good, pretty good shot of their own. Certainly a good distance away though as Perez airs that one out. Chased down backfield by Sochka. Out of bounds it goes. Along the far side, taken control by Mac Lind. Lind tripped up and that'll draw a whistle. The postseason last year, Halston was able to take down East Bridgewater three to nothing before falling to Dover Sherborne on penalty kicks one to nothing. It was a pretty good postseason run for the Panthers. And they certainly would like to be back at that spot this year. Towards midfield we go. In the air by Normando. Better by Metapore for Hollison. Now up along the far side as Perez keeps it rolling. Out of bounds once again. Holliston throwing. Squared up for Heisel. Ty Conning coming down the near side. Back to midfield, entering the attacking zone. Along the far side. That's a pass back over to Cotting. Stolen away, Hillers get it back. That was some nice work on that steal. Nick Skiba was able to get to it. Out of bounds it goes along the near side. It is a Holliston throw in. Approaching about 30 minutes left in the first half. Aired out by Heisel. Here comes Holliston on the attack. Magia. Is that one out over the far side, and it's knocked out of bounds by Zanini. Holston will have the throw in. Evan K. 
Katz with possession, pass back along the sideline. Alston trying to establish control here. And just trying to find a good opportunity. Try to put a shot and not rushing it, which is certainly a smart move here. As they have established momentum in these early minutes. Free coming from the far side. It's going to be Johnny Peck who takes it. Johnny Peck had the lone goal of the game on a penalty kick. About 36.45 left in the first half. And he can certainly air it out. So this is a dangerous situation for the Hillers. As they're going to form a wall of four right in front of them. There it is. And the wall does its job, but it is out of bounds. Panthers throw in. On the entry, it's Pat Mejia from the far side. Alston leading Hopkinton one to nothing. 28-35 and counting in the first half. Of course, that does not include stoppage time. This one is going to be knocked back out of bounds by Kovacad. Panthers doing a nice job along that far sideline for the most part, establishing control. Now the Hiller is going to have an opportunity here. Out of bounds it goes. Another throw in for Hopkinton. Hiller is working their way up the far side. Here comes Paleko. Clear it away. Johnny Peck able to get his body on it before it's taken by Dianicola for the Hillers. Both teams having a few struggles working on upfield. It's been good midfield play by both sides in these early minutes. Up the far side over to Burns. Burns is gonna lose that one as it was knocked out of bounds by the defender. Tide Cotting, Panthers on the entry. We'll have a stoppage here. Free kick for the Hillers. Looks like Phil McCarthy's gonna take it. See what kind of leg the senior defenseman Phil McCarthy has here on this kick. And an official saying, move the ball back just a bit. Airs it out, out in front. And a great save by Heisel. Nearly got past him, but he was able to wrap it up. Kept his cool under the pressure. That was a nice job there in the danger zone as the Panthers now threatening and that one is off the side of the net and out of play. Zanini set to air it out. Or perhaps McCarthy. McCarthy, it's a good leg on it there. Along the near side, chased down by Griffin Dellen, but unable to get to it in time. Justin Normando on the throw in for the Hillers. Paleko with some nice movement there to keep possession, but Nicola runs into trouble along the far side. Out of bounds it goes. Panthers ball. Throw in for Holliston. Ty Cotting on the entry. 
Over to Owen Burke now. Burke, good feed to the near side. Zach Jacobs feeds Dellen. Dellen is able to get around Nikic, but there to pick it up was Normando. Halston trying to once again establish control in Hiller's territory. Here's Johnny Pecht. Good feed, and now the shot just a little bit high. And a play it goes. On that shot, that was Zach Jacobs. A little too much leg on that one as we approach 24 minutes left. In the first half, a 1-0 lead for the Panthers. Tyler Zanini set to air it out. Chris McKerney on camera, Tom Nappy on the call. It's Hollison and Hopkinton soccer. Team effort this afternoon between HCAT out of Hollison and HCAM out of Hopkinton. Along the far side, Hillers is trying to find a way to get into Hollison territory, but these Panthers defenders have not let up. Throw in for Hopkinton along the far side. It's McCarthy getting that one in play, and back out it goes. Hillers will have another throw in, this time from about the 25-yard line. Back and forth along that far sideline. Back out of bounds it goes. That one looked like it was off of a hiller, and it was. Halston on the throw in. Both teams certainly keeping the pressure on. They don't want to let anyone get any easy shots in this one. A lot of good shooters on both of these teams. Hiller is on the throw in. Just nicely done there by McCarthy, but Hollison now with control. Heisel will center it up over to Ty Cotting. Along the sideline, Owen Burke. Burke to Dellen, and now back to Burke it goes. Good feed over to Evan Katz, one of the captains for the Hollison Panthers. Back into the Hopkinton defensive zone we go. Back and forth in the midfield area. Good steal by Povacad. Out of bounds it goes. Actually, that was Russell DeMarco on that steal for the Hillers. Up the far sideline, and out of play. Halston throwing. Ty Cotting with the entry. Header by Elgabri. Here comes Elgabri as he runs into a defender there. Owen Burke airing that one out. He saw Zach Jacobs in front of him. But Jacobs unable to get by McCarthy. Phil McCarthy, he's a player to watch this season for the Hillers. Very good defenseman with a strong leg. Andrew Palaco, or excuse me, that's Russell DeMarco taking it up. Pass over the near side of Elgavri. And he'll send that one on the ground and it'll be wrapped up by Heisel. Hiller is only with a pair of shots on net so far in this one. Olsen has four shots on net so far. Heisel, there's this one out, strong leg there. Right down into the Hillers defensive zone. Opportunity here. Out of bounds along the near side. It is going to be Holliston ball. 
Griffin Dellen on the throw in. Griffin Dellen, a senior defenseman. Good leg there by Elgavri. Back to midfield where Metaphor chases it down. Kreisel will center it up. Shows off the leg there. Header by Mejia. Mejia with some good movement around McCarthy. And we get a whistle. This is going to go in the Hiller's favor. Offsides there for Holliston. one nothing Panthers lead here in the first half. Approaching 18.30 left to go. Minus stoppage times. McCarthy gets a good leg on this one. Rushing down from midfield, Owen Burke. Here comes Andrew Keeley for the Hillers. Pass over to Elgabri. Back out in front. And waiting there was the defenseman, Sochka. On the far side, Halston able to take control. Some good footwork there. Soka was trying to leave it out in front for Pecht. Pass by Kelly. Back to midfield, Evan Katz is there. Gets tied up with Normando. Or actually, that's Mafiori, rather. Panthers take back control. Owen Burke. And he was looking for Jacobs. Good read by the Hillers defenseman, Normando. And we'll get a whistle here along the near sideline. Hillers ball. Throw-in is going to be by Justin Normando. Keeley. A few Panthers in front of him. Not much else to do with it. It's Ty Cotting able to get to it. Here comes Halston on the attack once again. Left behind for Pecht. Stolen back by DeNicola. Hillers racing up the far sideline. It's Mafiori. Some good footwork there, and he'll run into Katz. Play is on. Out in front, can he get to it? No, he can't. Good patience there by Heisel. He had faith in his defenseman that he was going to beat out Delmarco. Heisel will send this one long. Is certainly one of the hotter games both of these two uh, both of these teams will play this season. Typically, that's how the fall sports season starts. You get those couple of 90 degree games, and then it quickly goes down to the high 70s, and then before you know it, you're lucky if you're not playing in the snow. Heisel airs this one out to his right. Good read as Dellen was there. Hiller's able to take it back. Keeley trying to send that one up. Denied by Mejia. Here comes the Panthers. An opportunity here. Way out of the net is Zanini. Dangerous there, but he might have saved a Holliston shot. Hiller's establishing a bit of control. Dylan Donahue showed off the wheels for Holliston getting downfield. And they're going to send it to him again. It was off his foot. Muskiba was able to take over, but we do get a offsides. Normando. 
Tripped up, but behind him, Keeley. Also takes it over. Good steal by Mejia. A little collision there by DeNicola and Donahue. And that'll draw a whistle. It's going to be a free kick for Holliston. Looks like Ty Cotting is going to take it. Gonna move this one way up there. It's gonna be almost a penalty here. They'll line it up at the 30 yard line. We'll see what kind of leg Ty Cotting has. Ty Cotting, a junior captain. Now they're gonna switch it up. Evan Johan who sends it down. Oh, nicely defended by the Hillers. And we will switch up the talent on the field. 13.50 and ticking left in the first half. one nothing Holliston Panthers lead. The only goal of the game scored on a penalty kick by Johnny Pecht. With about 36.45 left. Hillers will get the free kick here. Good amount of fans starting to turn out for the season opener for both of these teams as well. Here on this beautiful summer-like day. Bill McCarthy set to send it up. There's this one out. That was a beauty. A shot just wide to the right by Daniel Perez. Pretty good shot there by Perez. And the distance. Only the third shot on net so far for the Hillers. It's been a defensive battle here so far in this one. Good footwork there by Dellen. Sent out by Nikic. Dellen with the throw into Katz. Sends it down. Across midfield we go. There's Perez, sends it over to the sideline, now back to Perez. Nice job by Perez initially, but then getting to his feet is Owen Burke as he steals it away. Burke to Johan, leaves it out in front and it's pulled down by Zanini. Up the near side, Lind. Back to midfield, Johnny Peck trying to establish control. Here he comes. Pecked around a couple of defenders, deflected off of Skiba. Good feed out in front to Burke, but he was unable to get the foot on it. And now Heisel forced to wrap this one up as quickly approaching was Peyton Burns. Tripped up along the far side as Palaco is trying to get to it. Slight collision there. It looks like we might have a shooken up player as well. Well, certainly some hard contact along the far side, but shooken up player is getting to his feet under his own power, which is always a good sign. 10.05 left to go here in this first half. The clock has stopped. And we will have a timeout with the Holliston Panthers leading the Hopkinton Hillers 
one to nothing on HCAT and Hollison and HCAM and Hopkinton. Continuing on in the first half of play between the Hollison Panthers and the Hopkinton Hillers. It's TVL soccer on either HCAM and Hopkinton or HCAT and Holliston. Tom Nappy, glad to be with you here on this beautiful afternoon. Chris McKerney on camera. Halston will have the free kick from the far side. Jake Heisel, the goalkeeper, will take it. Heisel, there's this one out. Down the sideline, back out it goes. Hiller's ball. And with the hot, humid weather today, expect both teams to take advantage of the timeouts. Certainly need to make sure you get those water breaks in. Not easy conditions to play this game in, that's for sure. Orando has it stolen away by Johan, who gets a shot off. And that one is going to end up just a little bit outside. Very close. It was a beauty. But it was just a little bit off the mark by Evans Johan, the junior midfielder. McCarthy, here's this one out. Certainly a scare there for the Hillers. Field Mac Lind out in front, turned away. Here comes Hopkinton. Palaco airs this out to the far side, chase down and out of bounds. Hollison ball. It'll be a throw in. On the entry, Griffin Dellen. Better by Normando. Handled by Lind. Passes up to Povacod. Johan. Taken back briefly by Povacod. Hiller's looking for a shot here. Good defense work by Dellen. Panthers crowding the box with defenders. They don't want to give Hopkinton any opportunities. Handled by Johan. That's aired out by Heisel. Back into Hiller's territory we go. Here comes Owen Burke. Burke on a break. Out in front. He was trying to send that one over to Pecht, who's out in front of the net. He'll end up out of bounds. Hillers will get to air it out. About 7.15 left to go in this first half, a 1-0 Holliston lead. Phil McCarthy set to send it up. McCarthy keeps this one a little bit lower. Near side it goes. That was by McLeod. Halston with control. McLeod centers that one up. Into the box, cleared away. Nice work by Fargiano getting in there to clear that one away. Here comes Nikic. Nikic trying to send it over to Paleko. Out of bounds it goes. Halston on the throw in. Along the far side. Tripped up there, and there's the whistle. Perez going up against Johan. Hopkinton ball. Free kick here. Phil McCarthy. 
at the 46 yard line. In Hollison territory, we'll air this one out. No, he won't. He'll keep it on the ground. A little trickery there up to Palaco. Back to midfield to Peck. Peck sends it along the near sideline. On the chase down is McLeod. Out of bounds it goes. Well, it looks like Griffin Dellen maybe a little bit of a limp there. But he's going to stay in the game and tough it out. It'll be a Hollison throw in. Approaching five minutes left in the first half. One nothing lead for the Panthers. Over to Pecht. Cleared back up briefly before Katz gets the foot on it. Now Pecht once again with the shot just wide to the left. Denny has stayed busy in net today. Six shots on net for Holliston. Zanini will air this one out. Header by Forgiano. Pass to Povacad. Back to Fargiano. Armando. Cleared it back up into Hollison territory. Now Ty Cotting sends this one flying. Along the near side is Nikic. Feed over to Fargiano. Hollison has certainly won the possession battle so far in this game. Both teams have defended very well in this one so far. Heisel sends this one to the near side. Off the chest of Griffin Dellen, and here comes Dellen working against Nikic. They'll draw a whistle. Free kick Holliston. Little contact there. Cotting airs this one out. It's a beauty and pulled down by Zanini. Zanini has the reach over just about anybody on this field and he utilized it there. McLeod along the near side over to Katz. Here comes Evan Katz for Holliston. Katz tied up along the near sideline. It's taken back by Perez. Down and the shot on the ground by Peck and picked up by Zanini. Upfield we go. Navar Metaphor sends it down. Holliston trying to take it up the far sideline. Tom Soshka trying to establish possession, ends up out. Will be a Holliston throw in. Clock here at Committee and Field is stopped at two minutes, and it'll stay stopped until the end of this first half. Nothing lead for the Panthers. And they're going to try to increase it right here with a free kick from the far side. Out in front, and Zanini wraps it up. Nini has certainly been busy in this one. That was nicely done by Mejia. Getting it right in the danger zone for Hopkinton. In the final minutes of the first half. A 
Butler is working at midfield. Here comes Bovacad. Giano sends it over. Alston doing a great job keeping it out of the defensive zone. Nat sends it down and now McCarthy legs it out. Up the far side and out it goes. Sochka on the throw in. Sochka off of Katz, and back out it goes. Along the far side. Yeah, it looks like he might have stepped out there. That's Hopkinson's ball. McCarthy on the throw in. There's it out. Panthers surround it. Back to midfield. And this one will roll out in front of. Griffin Dellen. And that'll do it for the first half. The Holliston Panthers will hold the one nothing lead over the Hopkinton Hillers. At the end of the first half, the as Panthers we wrap won, up the, the first nothing. 40 minutes. And, reminder that the and we will head to the second half coming up next on either HCAM in Hopkinton or HCAT in Holliston. It's the Panthers leading one to nothing. Welcome back to Comedian Field at Holliston High School. We are set for the second half. A 1-0 Panthers lead over the Hopkinton Hillers. If you're watching Holliston Panthers, Hopkinton Hillers on either HCAT in Holliston or HCAM in Hopkinton. Tom Nappy on the call. Chris McKerney, our cameraman. As we are set to continue on, the only goal of the game was scored by Johnny Pecht with 36.45 left to go in the first half. As we have switched ends, Halston now working right to left across your screen. Pass up to Pecht. Good feed up the sideline of Jacobs. Jacobs airs it out and out of play. Zanini will send this Zanini will send this one down. Over to Keeley. Healy able to just get that one away to Mafiori. Working his way back up, Evans Johan. And out of bounds, it goes along the near side in front of Carter Mickelson. Hillers will have the throw in. First game of the season for both of these teams. Holliston was able to make the playoffs last year and went one and one in postseason action. Hillers fell short of a playoff spot, finishing the regular season 6-9 and 3. Holliston was at the top of the TVL last season in boys soccer. They brought back a number of good players from last year's team. Phil McCarthy will send this one down. Good 
Good angle on that one. Taken away on the near side by Mickelson. Mickelson able to get it by a couple of hillers. Out of bounds it goes. Soika on the throw in. To Metaport. Back and forth we go here at midfield. Here comes Fargiano trying to work his way down and now Keeley. On the far side, out in front, Mafiori on the chase down. He's going against Dellen. Ends up out of bounds. Will be in favor of the Hillers and they will take it from the corner. Three minutes into the second half. Opportunity for Hopkinton. There's that out. And Hollison will take it back. A little too much leg on that one. Heisel sends it to his right. by Katz, Katz up against Killy. Out of play at about midfield. Hiller's throwing. With control, it's Fargiano. Out in front, out of play. Just in front of Elgabri. Alston on the throw and Griffin Dellen will take it. Header out of bounds by Elgabri. Dellen will do it again. Hiller is certainly more aggressive on the attack, but unable to establish control in the last few minutes of the first half coming into this one. Up the far side. It's good footwork there. Left out in front. And the header out by the defenseman. Nicely done by Holliston, clearing the zone as Mejia gets a foot on that one over towards Mateus Orlot, and we get a whistle. Hillers will have the free kick. McCarthy to air it out. Get some good air under that one out in front. And a nice job by Isil getting out of the net. That was nicely placed by McCarthy. He's the player to watch this season for the Hillers. Senior defenseman. Been on the field a lot this game, and he's going to be on, a on the field a lot all season. Now an opportunity here, and that one just sent a little wide to the left by Skiba. I believe it was deflected off a of Panther as well. Alston will have the throw in. Another 
the throw in for the Panthers. Right to the goaltender it goes as Zanini wraps it up. Zanini sends it down towards Keeley. At the far side, pecked. Over Jacobs. And a deflection sends it back towards the mid area. Peck now with control. Launches this one up and Zanini pulls it down. Pretty good attempt there by Peck. He's had a couple of good shots in this game. Halston now up to 11 shots on net if my calculations are correct. Soika on the throw in. Turned around by Pecht. Trying to break free. Here comes the Hillers. Across midfield. That is Matt Bird just hopping into the game. Here you see a lot of substitutions in the second half with the hot weather. Certainly want to keep the players fresh as here comes Devin Kelly. Kelly over to Bird. Trying to set it up. Back to midfield, handled by Mejia. Armando is able to knock it back down, and the Hillers have something going here. Bergiano up the far side. Out in front, looking for a shot, and that one's just airmailed, just over the net. Ten minutes into the second half, score remains one nothing Holliston. Shot attempt was Andrew Keeley. Nice leg there by Heisel. Big collision there as McCarthy is able to to get the kick on it as Soko is coming in. Austin fans not liking that call. Hillers have the free kick. Bill McCarthy will take it. Airs it out over the far side. It's up the sideline. Hiller's trying to get something going here. Panthers doing a nice job getting those defensemen in front of the box, not letting the Hillers slip through. Trip there, no whistle. Here comes Fargiano. Taken back by Holliston. Here's Johnny Pecht. Leaves it out in front, McCarthy's there. And now Mejia comes up with it. To the far side, legs it out and that's in. Two nothing Holliston. Pat Mejia with that goal. That goal comes with 29.05 left to go in the second half. Mejia, a senior midfielder and one of the five captains for the Holliston Panthers has made it two to nothing. Some great defense work by both teams in this one. But the Panthers, they are finding opportunities to get some good shots on net. First goal of the game came on a penalty kick. Mejia was able to find it from the outside with a beauty of a shot. And now some great footwork by Evans Johan. Over to Cotting. 
Taylor's trying to put some pressure on. This one will force Heisel out of the net. Uh, he will cover it up. Over to Sochka, he goes along the near side. Soika's tripped up, out of bounds it goes. Phil McCarthy on the entry for the Hillers. by Paleko and Heisel wraps it up. Heisel gets some good leg on that one. Coming away with it is Mac Lind. There's Mickelson for Holliston, turned around now by Mejia. Sent up by Johan. Turned around by Pecht. Sent out of bounds along the far side. Throw in is by Griffin Dellen. Two nothing lead for the Holliston Panthers. As they find the net once again and for the first time in the second half. There's Pat Mejia getting the job done. Matty Poor sends this one up towards Dylan Donahue. Handled along the near side by Paleko. Turned around over to DeNicola. Now towards midfield is DeMarco. Hillers trying to get something brewing here. Paleko up against Johan. Good footwork there. He sent it back, and Donahue was there to take it from him. Back and forth we go. Long shot by Mac Lind. Got some good air under that one, but a little bit too much leg. Heisel will send it up. Airs it out. Povacad sends it back down. Here comes DeMarco. DeMarco out in front. That shot is just wide to the right. A little misfire there. Good opportunity set up by DeMarco. Then a misfire on the attempt by Nikic. Here comes Pecht. Out in front. Others have it. And Nikic denied as that one turned around by Dellen. Hiller's throwing. Hopkinton looking for a shot here out in front. On the corner. And Danicola could not get the angle he wanted. All right, Hiller's putting a little bit more pressure on in this half than they were able to in the first. And they know they need to. Time certainly uh, starting to run out a bit. Approaching 23 and a half left here in the second. Two nothing lead for Holliston. Phil McCarthy on the entry. The header. And the pull down by the goaltender, Jake Heisel. Mac Lind with the header there. To midfield, Peck turns it around.
Sent up by Dellen and out of bounds off of Keeley. Olsen on the throw in. Turned away by Medipore. Sent down by Povacot. Out in front. No one there for the Hillers. So Heisel will calmly gain control of it. Heisel picks it up as Palico tries to approach. Solchka sends it up. Nicola up against Jacobs. Hillers will have the free kick. Zanini will allow Phil McCarthy to send it along. Over to DeMarco, up the far side. Sent out of bounds, off of a Panther, Hiller's throwing. Nicholson in the area for Holliston once again is able to work it by him. It was Kelly, and that one is sent back up towards midfield, but well out of bounds. Playing along the sideline is Mac Lind. As he goes out of bounds, we will have a whistle. Halston on the throw in. Griffin Dellen on the entry to Ty Cotting. On the far side, DeMarco sends it up and out. Over to Palaco. And a nice job by Sochka not letting Palaco get away. Soika. Trying to turn it around. Up in here, sideline. Burns trying to chase it down for Hopkinson. Tripped up. That'll draw a whistle. It is going to go Holliston direction. They're going to put the blame on Burns for the contact. Heisel will send it up. Just below 20 minutes left to go in the second half. Two nothing Holliston. Hard header there. It looks like we're gonna have a Man slow to get up for the Hillers as Mac Lynn slow to get back to his feet, but he is to his feet and ready to go. Battle at midfield. Mejia pass over to the near side of Jacobs. Soika able to knock that one up the sideline, but it ends up rolling out. Nicola will have the throw in for Hopkinton. And forth that midfield now on a break. Mickelson, long shot, and that's just wide to the left. Some good.
Good leg there. We just had a angle slightly more to the right. That one would have went right in. Zanini to send it down. Olsen on the attack once again. Good steal by Peterson. Eli Peterson getting in on the action for the Hillers with a nice steal. And now a shot that's sent long. Panthers keeping the pressure on. They have certainly established control throughout much of this game. Zanini set to send it down. That one off of Mejia. Good footwork there, but too many hillers in the area as Bovacad comes away with it. It's back towards Burns. Header by Cotting. Up along the far side is Siegel. Aired out towards Borlot. Picked up by Paleko for the Hillers. Paleko and Cotting doing battle along the near side. Paleko able to maintain control going up against Soika. Andrew Paleko, certainly a talented athlete for the Hillers. And now Povacad with some good footwork sends it back. Up to McCarthy. Back to DeNicola, McCarthy. And that was Ryan Katz tripped up. That'll go in favor of Holliston. Shaking his head in disagreement was Russell DeMarco. Heisel will take this one. Sends it long. Over to the far side corner and out of play. I believe this will go Hiller's direction. for the ball to get back to the field to play. Also, they had to replace the side flag. Back out along the far side. Olsen on the entry. Into the box and put up and out. Olsen will take it from the corner. And they'll send Pat Mejia to take the corner kick. Yeah. With the pass on the give and go there, and it's denied. Up the far side, kept in bounds by the Hillers. And then Peyton Burns tripped up. Burns set to air it out. Gets a good lift on this one. And jumping up, pulling it down is Heisel.
Heisel lifts it. Along the far side. Olsen back in control as Katz able to get to it. Eli Peterson back in the game for the Hillers. We'll take the throw in. Peterson launches it. It's like a miscommunication there. Isol set to air it out. Misses the header. And that one off of Skiva, who's briefly shooken up. And we do get a whistle. Tech checking on Skiba, make sure he's all right. Hiller is on the free kick. McCarthy sends it flying. Header by Cotting. That one's sent up and out by Polico. Well, Halston coach, Jay Dupuy, in his eighth season, has to like what he's seen so far out of this group. They have controlled the majority of this game and, of course, have the 2-0 lead. It's been a good defensive battle on both sides, but Halston certainly a little bit more superior here with the amount of shots they've been able to get on net. Up the near sideline of Pecht. Here comes Peck, trying to put the pressure on around a couple of defenders, a shot, and that's a goal! Johnny Peck makes it 3-0. That one comes with 10.38 left to go. Some great footwork, and he's able to place it in. So it is a 3-0 lead for the Holliston Panthers. Danicola on the throw in. Over to Devin Kelly. Header, and that one is a little wide to the left. Out of play it goes. Rowan for Holliston. Chased down into the corner and sent out. It'll be a throw in for Hopkinton. Phil McCarthy on the entry. Turned around. Hiller's trying to put some pressure on there, but Heisel was ready for it. Oh, 
Heisel sends this one high. Sent back down by Skiba. Back to midfield we go. Here comes Paleko. And Paleko can't get around Metaphor. Danicola on the throw in for Hopkinton. Skating through is Povacod. Leaves it on the ground. And Isol able to get the foot on it and will pick it up with Paleko trying to provide some pressure. Approaching seven minutes left to go in regulation. Three nothing Holliston lead. The goal in the first half, two more here in the second. They have established control. Out it goes along the far side. Holliston throwing. Katz lifts that one towards midfield. Here comes McCarthy. Sends it back. Back and forth we go in the Hopkinton defensive zone. Skiba able to establish some momentum. Up the far side now is Povacod. Sent out of bounds. This one will be a corner for the Hillers. I believe that's Normando who's taking it from the far side corner. Moves it on the ground and it's picked up by Heisel. Heisel sends it flying. Out in front, Zanini jumps up, pulls it down. That was just before Johnny Peck could get to it. Look back for Paleko. Over to Burke. Set up the far side, a rudder. Out of play it goes, Holliston ball. Heisel will come out of the game. Great performance by the goaltender, Jake Heisel. Shutout going into this point. And we'll bring some of the younger guys in here. Sam Glazer, the new goaltender for Holliston. Well, it's going to be a nice way to start off the season for the Panthers. Nice win over your TVL rivals, the Hopkinton Hillers. And could end up being a shutout as well. Siegel. Trying to get it over to the near side. Alston pretty much playing keep away right now, just trying to keep control. Out of bounds it goes. Hiller is throwing as we approach the 330 mark left in the second half. Povacad 
Goes back to Peterson who sends it towards midfield. Fiore to the far side, out of play it goes. Throw in for Holliston. Jackson Gunn will take it. Well, good effort by both teams in this one. It was a good defensive battle, but the Panthers able to pull through here in the second half and just maintain momentum. And they really did a great job at defending their zone. Taylor is not able to get many shots off at all in this second half. Back towards midfield now. Out in front, collected by Devin Kelly. Kelly with some good footwork there. Approaching the two minute mark now. Turn around by Burke. Owen Burke along the sideline, able to keep it in over to Katz. Katz maintains control, turns it around to Idrissa Smith. And now a break here for the Hillers and the goaltender. Sam Glazer comes way out, gets in front of the shot, knocks it down and collects it. What a job by the substitute sophomore goaltender. Showing off the wheels and denying a Daniel Perez goal there. Well, this is the time of the game where you can get those young goaltenders and some of that young talent you have on your team, some good experience. Nice, comfortable 3 nothing lead. You had it with several minutes left. Good opportunity to get those young guys in there. And now it looks like Glazer might be tested again here as the Hillers rush down into the attacking zone. Kelly along the near side draws a push from Elwani and that'll draw the whistle. Hillers will have the free kick. Here's Phil McCarthy. McCarthy, airs it out. Glazer jumps up and pulls it down. Now Sam Glazer stepping in and getting the job done for Holliston. Over to midfield, collected by Barlot. Panthers hoping for a shot here. Zanini comes out and collects it. Just before McLeod able to get to it. Peterson along the far side for the Hillers. Up towards Perez. And along the sideline. Out of play it goes, Halson throwing. Back out, Halston will do it again. It's Jackson gone on the throw in. Up along the corner and out. Well, this game for the young Hillers team, certainly a learning experience. They'll have to get more aggressive on the offensive end try to come away with some of these victories. But today, it's all about the Holliston Panthers. They get the 3-0 shutout victory over the Hopkinton Hillers in That's impressive the fashion. The Holliston 1-0 on the Hopkinton season. Hillers Hopkinton is, is now 0-1. For Chris McKinney on camera, I'm Tom Nappy. And we thank you for watching Hopkinton Hillers, Holliston Panthers Boys Varsity Soccer on either HCAM in Hopkinton or HCAT in Holliston. Thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your day. The final score for the final time. The Holliston Panthers take down the Hopkinton Hillers 
by a final score of three to nothing. Holliston now one and zero on the season.